So what is up guys, it's the Scripting Legend here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can make your leader stats have abbreviations. So you guys have been asking me this, let me just show you real quick. So you guys have been asking me this ever since I made this video of how to make a leader stats GUI with accurate abbreviations. You guys were saying how the GUI says 1T. And then the leader stats itself says 1,000 billion. So you guys were asking me how you can change this. And today, guys, I'm going to answer that question. Um, and yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty similar. It's pretty much the same thing as this script. Uh, we just added some a little twist to it. So I'm going to show you how I did it, and I'm going to show you that it works before we start the video. Alright, so here I am back in my base plate, and um, as you can see, if I hit play, I just have a few things set up here. I have a weight so that I can gain coins when I lift it. Just, oh yeah, I gain like, uh, let's see how much, let's just look over there. I gain 100 billion coins every time I lift this weight, so... um. Let me just get to like nine nine hundred billion. Alright guys, so you see it says nine hundred billion, right? And this is where you guys were like, if I clicked in one more time, then it would say one thousand billion instead of one trillion. But watch guys, as I clicked it, my mouth one last time, and it goes to one trillion instead. So yeah, guys, that's how that um works. Um. So basically what I did is I just made, uh, in replicated storage, actually no, I'm not going to say that first. So first thing I added was a leader set script, so I just went to my plugins, used my um, leader sets generator plugin that I made, link to that plugin will be in the description. It saves a lot of time, if you didn't see my video already, you can check it out to study, so you know more on how to edit it, it's really simple though. Alright, so um... And inside the leader stat script, I basically just have the regular leader stat script. So our player added fun oops, our player added function right here. But then you can see that I added in our suffix list our, our suffix list from the um from the leader stats GUI. It's the same thing as the leader stats GUI video. Also, guys. Um, someone was asking me if I can explain it better. It's pretty much just complex math, right? It's just giving it the um, the format for the numbers. Like, if the digit is that, or if there's that many digits, then do that. Um, so, yeah. So, once you guys have this, is the important stuff down. Oh, yeah. Also, guys, um, this might um, this might cause, like, a little bit of, like... <laughs> weirdness but like um you have to have this this string value inside of the leader stats called coins yes string value that's done on purpose and then you're going to want to have a um a number value called n coins inside of your player not the leader stats so you don't see it on the leader stats and um the value we're going to be changing is this coins value but then what we're going to do is we are going to um in the string value one that's inside of our leader stats, we're gonna take the the end coins value that's inside of our player, and we're gonna format it into the string just like we did for the text on our GUI. So once you have all this down here, make sure you get it down just like I've done. I have this wait one just to make sure that everything already loaded in. Then I have a while wait do loop. While wait, don't do a while true do, or you will probably end up breaking your game because you'll just fire way too fast and it'll just cause massive chaos. So what you're going to want to do is that a while wait do loop inside of it, you're going to want to write player colon wait for child leader stats colon find first child coins dot value, so that's our string, and then we're going to do equals to so we're going to set what the strings value is equal to. And then we're going to call our format function here. And then we're going to give it a value. So we're going to do the, the player.endcoins.value. So that's the 
um, coins value that's inside of our player. And then we're going to do a comma 2. Um, also, guys, I'm pretty sure if we change this to a comma 1, you'll... Uh, somebody also asked me this, like, how I can make it have only one number after the decimal point. So I'm pretty sure if you change it to a 1, that will work. So I'm going to just try that. I haven't tried this, but, um, I'm pretty sure that that will do that. So, um, uh, yeah, let me just test this out. Uh, also, guys, once you have this leader set script, just play the game just to make sure that it's working. Um, you can't, you guys can't actually gain anything yet, so I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Oh yeah, see guys, now I only have one number after my decimal point, so, dude who asked me this, if you're watching this, then, um, then yeah, that's how you do it. Also, since that worked, if you want to have three numbers after a decimal point, then guess what you're probably going to have to do? Make this three. Alright, but I'm going to leave it at 2 because I think that's the best so that you can have like a 1.15 million thing or something. So yeah, I'm going to just leave it at 2. And um, that's it for this script. So now, we'll, um, don't mind that. Now what we're going to do, now what you're going to want to do is insert a um, remote event inside of replicated storage. Um, let me rename this to add coins. Right, and then you're gonna want to add a script inside of inside of um, server script service and name it to add coins event script, and then you're gonna want to make a variable called um, event, and you're gonna want to make it equal to game that replicate storage coin wafer child add coins, which is our um, add coins event, and then we are just going to um, set this simple code right here so that um, this when we call it in our wait tool, um, we can just keep changing the value right there. So, um, yeah, this is just copy that down. Then I just got a wait model from the toolbox just to do testing. I deleted all the scripts I just wanted to handle. I inserted a local script of my own there. Um, here, let me just make this a little nicer for you guys to look at. I'll do a local val is equal to... Uh, let's just copy and paste the number so I just get this right. All right, so and then um, so this is the number that we are going to add every time that um we click our wait tool, and this number is um I'm pretty sure it's one hundred billion, right? That's what I said earlier, because this would be one million, then this would be yep a hundred billion. All right, so now inside of our script up here, yeah, you're going to want to add a script up here to activate a clone connect function. And then you're going to want to, um, inside of that, do a game that replicates storage that I add string colon fire server. And inside the brackets for fire server, we're just going to type val. So we're just, um, because remember in our coin script, we set this parameter called val, and we're just adding the coins plus val. So the val number is going to be whatever our val variable stores here. I know that's a lot of vals. All right, so um, now if we hit play, and if you guys hit play, um, everything should work just as well for you as it does for me. So let me just equip my weight and... Um, Oh, sorry guys, my bad. Um, go back into the local script for the wait and just change this to add coins because I forgot I changed the name to add coins, which it was supposed to be. But yeah, all right. So make sure you have this, um, or else you're gonna get that error too. And now, if you play this, everything should work just as well as it did the first time for me. Um, now and it should work as well for you. So now if I click my weight, I just keep gaining. I just keep gaining. All right, so I'm going to just make this number ridiculously big. I don't even know how much that is, but we're about to find out when we hit play. So let's see this. It's one QI, guys. I have, like, all right, guys, see? Our abbreviations are working perfect. Lee, perfectly. All right. So um, because in our leader stats, 
uh, we only went up to one QI. I'll show you what we'll wait. We only went up to a QI, so there is nothing after it. So that if we get like here, let me just make it so that we gain 100 QI every click. Watch what will happen after we click 10 times. It will be like a one plus E thing, I'm pretty sure. All right, so all right, all right, so we have 100 QI, and then we can't even fit in anything anymore over there. And yep, one plus set. 1.0 e plus 7 so basically what you want to do to fix that is just um after the qi string you just want to add a comma uh space and then add another string and inside of it just make it what you want um so like that something like that i guess right just so that yeah just so that yeah just so that like um it won't do that anymore see i'm at 900 qi now i click again and i'm not at 1.00 e plus 7. all right guys well that is going to be it for today's video if you enjoyed and this helped you out please remember to leave a like and subscribe um 85% of you guys who are watching this are not subscribed to the channel, so please do. It is free to subscribe if you didn't know that. Also, guys, leave a like on the video, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.